Good morning, thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartolme, and joining me this morning is Father Ryan Ford from St. John the Evangelist and St. Joseph Parishes in Ishpeming. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome, thank you for having me. Of course, and so you guys have an event this weekend. It's a community bike sale, correct? Correct. Yeah, we, uh, we obtained about 70 bikes from the Ishpeming Police Department that they've just acquired on the side of the road over the last couple of years. And with the city council's approval, they donated them, they gave them to us. And uh, we're fortunate to be able to have fixed up probably about 40 or more of them and have a community bike sale on Saturday morning. All right, and so what's the time and where is it? It'll be Saturday morning from 9 a.m. until noon across the street from St. John's uh, in the parking lot on Pine Street right next to the old senior center that was knocked down. Very cool. And so um, you said there's about 40 bikes. Um, what's kind of like the price range for, the, for these bikes? Sure, yeah. We have, we have about 40 bikes in good working condition, adult down to children bikes. So the prices are negotiable. We're some, we have some very nice bikes that'll probably be around $50 and other uh, well-used and uh, working bikes that we can probably sell for 30, 40 or so dollars. And children's bike could be a little less, but we've also got a number of parts bikes just for $5 each. All if right. people want, some, want them for, for parts. Awesome. And so uh, where are the funds from this going towards? Sure, we have uh, our local St. Vincent de Paul Society Conference, which helps with financial, financial assistance and food pantry in Ishpeming, and also the Knights of Columbus, who helped uh, acquire these bikes and move them and for their seminary and fund to support the men uh, studying to be priests in our diocese. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thanks yeah, for having me. Of course. And for more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and tune to Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.